Hello Warrior Plus vendors, welcome back to another episode from How to Webmaster. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up a split test. The purpose of a split test is to increase your conversion rate, your sales, by setting up multiple sales pages and then seeing which one performs the best and removing the ones that are not as good. And in order to set up a split test, all you have to do is go to your offer page and go to settings here click on multiple sales pages or split test click on that and by default you have one page set up here and you need at least two sales pages in order to run a split test first thing you want to do is go to your sales pages files right here and doesn't matter if you're using wordpress or html sales pages or whatever sales page tools you're using create several variations. So let's start with opening up your composer HTML editor and let's load up our sales page. And if you're new to this training tutorial series, I created a step-by-step -step tutorial training series on how to sell your digital products. We set up the sales pages, upsell, downsell pages, thank you pages, and then upload the site files. And so I showed you how to do all that. If you wanna take a look, the link is down below. Okay, so here is my sales page and the buy button is already set up here. So what you want to do now is click on file, save as, and let's just name this two. So this would be my split page or split test. And this is gonna be number two to keep it organized. And you can keep this split test pretty simple. You can change one element such as having a new headline here, or you can change the button colors, even the entire layout or different colors. You shouldn't make too many variations. It could be confusing. Okay, just like this. And now let's save. So save it first and then do a save as. So I wanna keep organized. So let's name this one number three. So I'm just gonna split test three different sales pages. And in this one, I'm gonna keep this new headline and change the, just the sales button right here. I'm gonna change the color through the Word Plus buttons. And again, you can play around with all kinds of different variations and then see which one makes the most money, most conversion rates. Okay, let's open up our FTP program and then upload the new split test uh, sales pages here. Drag it over and I showed you how to do all this in part six, uploading your site files. Okay, so now that the sales pages are live on our server, you can click on new sales page, sales page description. So I have a new headline that says 10K and then paste in our sales page. It was named number two and you don't need to mess around with the tokens but definitely turn this on right here allow affiliates save okay so now we have two pages let's add the third one same thing okay on my third sales page i'm gonna compare a red buy button and make sure you have the right url allow affiliates save so those are your sales pages and you can add more later on if you want to test out more pages. Click on new split test here and give it a split test name and a split test type. It's default as simple rotation. So it's gonna rotate through your pages and I'll show you what that means later on. And there's also an auto optimization which says coming soon but it's been like three years and it's still coming soon. So I don't think that's ever gonna come. So you have to do your own uh, optimization, which is pretty simple and I'll show you that as well. Status active and make sure you set this right here, set as default so that all of your traffic is going straight to your split test. Down here, make sure you use, click on the use it right here. So you wanna split test all three pages. And then wait is if you want to be distributed unevenly save okay and this get link button you really don't need to use this unless uh, you're sending traffic to your own split test if you have your own email list or you're doing your own promotions then you would use this right here 
to send traffic to your offer but for affiliates it's already default okay now we need to get the buy button code it's going to be different for each of your pages in your split test let's get our buy button for the main sales page here and copy and make sure you are using the buy buttons on the, the correct pages okay so this is the main one so again we need to make sure we replace everything so delete this put that there for as a place marker and then paste in our buy button code just like that it's gonna look similar because I didn't change the button, button design. So make sure you go through all of your buy buttons and replace it with the new split test buy buttons. Okay, now up here, go to your new headline 10K or whatever a name you uh, give it to your sales page. And in this one, the sales button design is the same, but the code is different. So make sure you copy that head over to your composer this is my 10k sales page right here and again we do the same thing we replace just like that okay and do it for all the other buttons on the same sales page and let's go to the last one the red buy button and I would actually name this a little bit better and I would call it the 10k with the red buy button to be more organized so the red button, what this means is I'm going to make this a red color, right there, just like that. Copy. So let's do the same thing. Delete that. Give it a place marker. Highlight that right there. And replace that. And we have the red button here and then we we'll do the same for all of your other buttons. Okay, once you replace all of your buy buttons, and now you need to upload just the files that you change. So my three split tested sales pages here, just overwrite everything. Okay, let's go check out our split test. So let's exit this, everything's already set up. Okay, so if you go to get link here, and we can test out our split test by just visiting the link and if you visit the link you may get this right here invalid link this means that your offer hasn't been activated so let me go ahead and do that okay here's my offer page activate the offer and once again if your product is not approved you can still sell it by sending traffic to it on your own or have you can still have affiliates sign up and promote it it just won't be displayed in the warrior plus marketplace okay so now let's activate okay the product is now activated now we go back to our split test link let's go enter okay so this is my main sales page and it goes in sequential order so if you visit uh, this link again the split test link it should go to number two right here just like I said number two and if you visit it again it should go to number three in sequential order so here you can see the red button and the one before that number two was um, the, just the regular yellow button with the new headline and then number one is the regular headline okay let's check out the stats you go to view stats you can see here we have three hops three visits one for each so let's do a hypothetical scenario let's say you sent a thousand hits or your affiliates sent a thousand hits and let's say the the red button made the most sales out of all three so what you want to do is go to your split test settings here click on the edit split test so say the red button had 10% conversions and the others had 5% so what you could do now is remove uh, these two the lower conversion ones and then keep the winning sales page and then you click on save 
because why would you want to keep the 5% conversion rates? It's making you less money. And that's also the beauty of split testing is you're flying blind by with just one sales page. So you set up a nice, beautiful sales page, but you don't split test it. You're never going to know if that sales page was any good because you have nothing to compare to. But now you know with the split test, you can compare your sales page with another sales page design and you can keep on increasing your conversion rates versus comparing it to nothing and flying blind and losing money potentially simple as that but i would never know if i don't split test so what you can do now is just select this save and call it a day anyhow i hope this helps thanks so much for viewing let me know if you have any questions as always be sure to subscribe to my channel how to webmaster for more internet marketing tips tricks and tutorials thanks again and happy marketing